Ah, what is up? What is up, Rocket League viewers? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another weekly breakdown of RLCS, both NA and EU. As per usual, keep it very short, touch on all the highlights of the past weekend, and boy, was it exciting. Still very exciting viewership-wise, player-base-wise. The league is doing very well compared to Overwatch and Call of Duty, and so I'm super excited as the season does continue, especially in a couple weeks when we actually can break down more matchups, because as of right now, all these series being traded back and forth, you can't draw too much from it, right? The season is still very early on, uh, of course, assuming we still have that full eight-week season, and after a few of those weeks, we now have double matchups for a few teams out there. These standings will change quite a bit. I would say for myself personally, Europe has been more of the entertaining side of things so far just two weeks in. Now, also speaking of entertaining, that's a guy like Flakes who, you know, uh, thanks to Jorby, obviously taking some more troll cars with him. Now week two, troll car number two on the gizmo, and of course having a clip with it. I don't know if there's anyone out there I like more currently in the pro scene, and I'm trying to wonder as well at, at what point do you focus up if you ever lose you know so far 2-0 start for them so congratulations to the team at, at what point though do you focus up play a main car and actually focus on winning do you start when you need to because as of right now they look very very clean and then we got TSM with another loss as well 0-2 on the season to Velos who I would say a much needed victory here a 3-1 in a comeback series you know go down game one I would say look very convincing the last three games also huge shouts to Velos by the way got in touch with one of their management and they're actually sending a jersey for our case. So of course I'll cheer for you guys and again a much needed victory here. TSM already down 0-2 on the season. We're going to see how these teams bounce back and when it comes time for game 5 overtimes I would say probably by far and away and again only two weeks in but by far and away the best play I have seen so far this season. That being Godsmilla sending Reynolds Vitality to their first loss in a game 5 overtime. We'll talk about North America in a minute or two which by the way game 5 overtime was no stranger this past weekend. The play of the season in my opinion so far goes to God himself. Game five, next goal wins and singularity. Overtimes have been on their side. Can they do it right here? As Godsmill looks for the flip reset, flip reset over the top. The own goal. Forces the own goal. To own goal. Oh my goodness. Wow. And then to close things up, you know, my super team. That's going to be Mouse Sports. I still think going to be, uh, again, these are early projections. And I would say an eSport out there that is the hardest to project or predict of any eSport out there was Mouse Sports was my number one overall estimate out there. They take their first loss of the season to what could be the actual God Squad out there. That's Reciprocity as well in a semi-convincing series. So uh, first loss of the season for Mouse Sports and Reciprocity continue their streak. So far, the European standings, I would say not all too surprising. And again, we're so early on in the season. We'll see how these standings do fluctuate, especially weeks three through five, I would say, are most important. We head to North America, though. Speaking of game five overtime, that's going to be Cloud9. Starting off their season with a dominant loss to e United in a 3-0 sweep last week. We talked about that. Cloud9, the downfall has been a, has been a speculation. It's been a talk of the town for, I would say probably at least a few weeks if not a couple months so far they continue that in a game five overtime loss to rogue this is why you sign a guy like Kronovi if you're rogue right and of course going out in that fashion as a cloud nine you take it to game five overtime against a team who we still have questions about in team rogue losing this and going 0-2 in the season has to hurt a lot for a team like cloud nine who I would say is the biggest surprise so far in North America but also to a few people out there not so surprising we will see if they can bounce back because they very likely will need to. G2 still looking very, very dominant in game count. NRG, they bounce back from a week one, very, very close series against Sonics. They look very dominant here in week two. Um, the rest of the teams kind of trading out series here and there. Sonics pick up their first win against Space Station, and I would say Shock is looking so far through two weeks like an MVP candidate of this league. Just everywhere on the map, guys. Everywhere on the field as well. And so Sonics pick up their first win. We will see if they are the team we saw in week one. Continue to do so, and if they can be the team that we all want them to be you know a rising team out there that no one really you know heavily saw coming and we'll see how they compete in these upcoming weeks as well I would say still a very very fun team for me to watch is certainly the Sonics out there uh, very lastly you know again G2 looking good NRG looking good usually your top three is going to be those two plus Cloud9 and Cloud9 is at the very very bottom alongside the only other team O2 right now that's going to be rapid in team flight we'll see if you know him playing a bit of a villain card can actually pick up a victory here sometime soon so far two weeks into NA and EU and other regions. Nothing I would say out of the ordinary and nothing we can take too much from this. The standings are so preliminary as we enter the, the high point of matches in a couple weeks from now when these matches are actually going to be you know a, a few more and these standings can actually shake up a bit more and we can actually take more from the results because as of right now 
nothing too defining, I would say. But as always, what do you guys think about this? The weekly breakdown of RLCS, you know, I would say my two key takeaways, gotta be a guy like Flakes. What are we gonna see next week? Jorby says he's gonna try and convince him of other cars in the future. We'll see how far the org lets this kid go in trolling cars, and if they can still win, you know, why not? Certainly a fan favorite out there, and I would say second story from that, can Cloud9 get a victory, and can they show up as they usually do before land finals and make those land finals as they do in typical fashion? Until next time, hope you guys all enjoy breaking down esports gaming news here every single day, all day long. Until then, drink your coffee, drink your water. I'll see you guys back here sometime soon.